Hey guys, it's Hot Jupiter here, and uh, I've been getting a lot of requests recently to to make a video on how to install the mod that I've been using in my Kerbal Space Program uh, 0.24, which is the Astronomer's Visual Pack from uh, CurseForge.com. And uh, so I figured out what the heck. I'll go ahead and show how I exactly how I did that. Um, so you can get to the actual pack one of two ways. There's a link on my video here, the rescue mission video in the description that'll take you right there. Um, or you could just do a Google search for um, astronomers visual pack. And it's going to be the first one you get, the visual pack Kerbal Source Forge. Or Curse Forge, here we are. And it'll just kind of give you some screenshots of what it looks like. There's Duna, very lovely, and Eve, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we, we all know what it looks like. Um, so there's a bunch of other just information here about it. If you scroll all the way down, um, there should be a download link somewhere. It's somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's right here, actually. My bad. It's right here. Download. So once you get that, you get a nice um, zipped... You just you got your uh, astronomer's visual pack here, so you just unrar it, unzip it. Yes, I've already done that. So you get it, and this is probably the part that confuses a lot of people because there's a lot of steps, and there's actually something else that you need to get. Um, so first thing you want to do is go right into first step, and it's just a simple little notepad here. So let's click it. Make sure you have installed the environmental visual enhancements from this forum thread. So follow that link and I already have it up here I believe that's where it takes you but just in case let's go to it this is I, th I feel like this is the part that most people skip because it I almost skipped it too I was like oh I assume I have this already from downloading all this crap but no actually you might not have it so you definitely got to follow this link and it's like it's a different version of the environmental visual enhancements. The way I understand it is it's like the core of the visual enhancements. And the only thing that Astronomer's Visual Pack does is build off of this core. I believe that's how it works. So here's where you want to scroll all the way down. It shows you some you know examples of what it looks like. And um, here's the download link right here. So if you go to that link, um, then you'll get to download the visual enhancements over here. All right, so once you get that, let's actually go ahead and do that. I mean, I've done all this already, but just showing you guys. So here's this. So this is your standard uh, mod installation for a Kerbal Space Program. Basically, you go into, well, let's actually just unrar it. We'll just drag it over to the desktop there. And it's really simple. You go to your Kerbal Space Program directory. Um, mine's right here on the desktop because I don't use Steam to go through it. Uh, if you bought this game on Steam, it's probably in your Steam directory. You know, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, your name, etc., etc. But for me, it's just right on my desktop. This is my Kerbal directory. Um, and there's game data. So all you do is just open that up and you just drag those two things into your game data folder. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. And that will give you the core of basically how to, you know, build off of that. So once that's done, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move these down here. Once that's done, that's step one. We've completed step one. Then you go over to step two. Now this is where you get to choose. You pick and choose um, the kind of resolution of the clouds and all that stuff you want. Um, I recommend if you have a low-end computer, you might want to go with one of these lower ones, 128 or 256, but if you have like a higher-end PC, you see you got high res that's the one I use. Um, I'm sure I could get away with higher resolution if I wasn't recording, but the recording kind of knocks a few frames off, and I would rather you know, not sacrifice frames, but hey, if you guys have like super high-powered state-of-the-art computers, you know, Go ahead and push it to the limit. <laughs> so basically, let's say you want to pick the middle line here, high resolution. You go in there, and again, we have a game data folder. And all you do is just drag that into your Kerbal Space Program game directory folder. Open it up, and you just slide it right into there. And then you'll have it. Now, it will ask you if you want to overwrite stuff. I believe that's something that it addresses. Let's just go back 
fixes for common issues. Um, make sure something. It said something in here about like making sure that you've yeah if nothing gets replaced you've either not installed the mod or you put it in the wrong place. So you definitely want to replace. There it is all the files so it'll ask you like are you sure you want to replace these files that you've already put in there and you just say yes alright so that's the second step you choose again you choose which definition which resolution you want and you just bring it on in there to your game data folder alright step three ignore these two things I mean I mean don't ignore them just don't put them in your directory it's just kinda of telling you literally place this in your folder replace all files and it will not replace important stuff basically so again there's the boulder colorado folder it seems like you've done that already but just do it again <laughs> just go into your folder your uh, kerbal folder which i closed and again just drag the boulder colorado right into the folder and click yes replace all files and that should really be it um that's all i did and it it miraculously worked. I was sitting here thinking the first time I installed it, like, this is never going to work. This is just crap. But that's it. Um, it also comes with some extras if you want more cloud density. Um, you can come in here. You can pick, like, lower density. Or if you want my PC incinerated mode, I guess that's, like, super dense clouds. Again, game data. You just swap that into your Kerbal game data folder, and it'll overwrite the one you have with a new one, a new settings file, basically. What else could you do? KSP folder icon. Oh, that's cute. You get a custom icon. I didn't use that one. And a realistic skybox, which is a link. So if you want a realistic skybox, I guess you can go follow that link and probably follow the same steps. You know, it's all about the game data folder. But that's about it. Um, I hope that's helped you guys out. I hope you can now use this Astronomer's Visual Pack and any other mods that you choose. And, um,. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're still having issues, just leave a comment. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to help you guys out. So thanks for watching, guys.